Okay, so I'm meeting my client today. Um, this is Unit 41, Assignment 1, uh, initial meeting with the athlete. So I've just met up with my client um, and she's uh, put down her top 10 traits for football. So I'm going to uh, do her traits compared to the ones that I've made and explain my traits. So um, her top 10 was she put strength for number one, passing for number two, agility for number three, power for number four, muscular endurance for number five, decision making for six, uh, positioning for seven, shooting for eight, sorry, co coordination for eight, aerobic endurance for nine, and pain endurance for ten. So I've made my own list of football top ten, and I think this is what I'm uh, what is the most important traits for football? So, um, so number one, pa uh, for trait for football, uh, for the position that we're doing is passing. So, um, it's the most important part of being a centre mid in football, um, because obviously they play in the middle of the park, and uh, you know they have to pass it to the strikers, they have to pass it back to the defence most of the time. So, passing. Uh, short and long passing is a big trait for them. Uh, I think that it's the most important trait for them. Uh, so that's number one. Number two is decision making, because um, they have to choose the right pass. Um, if they choose the wrong pass, then uh, you know they might concede a goal, or the other team might break away and counter attack. So making the right pass is a big trait to have um, knowing what pass to play and when to pass it uh, that can you know lead to a goal or you know if you don't know when to pass it at the right time it might lead to the opposition scoring um, number three is strength so this is upper body strength really because um, they're the main play main playmaker of the team um, you know people are just you know, going to try and tackle them, try and barge into them. Um, so they need a lot of body strength and a bit of leg strength to stay on their feet. Because, you know, I mean, there's a lot of shoulder barging in football, which is legal. Uh, there's nothing wrong with shoulder barging, as long as the arms don't come out. Uh, so if you're getting shoulder barged a lot, then you can, you know, fall over a lot. So it's important to stay on your feet, because otherwise you'll lose the ball. Uh, number four is positioning. Um, if the player's out of position, they will uh, have a hard time getting the ball um, or they might not even get past you in the first place. So they need to be in the right position of the pitch, um, you know, to find space uh, and, you know, areas to attack. Because um, if they're not in space, then they won't get past to or they won't, they might get the pass, but they might not eat. You know, they might get closed down really quickly. Um, number five is power. Uh, in terms of power, it means, you know, how quickly they can change speed. Um, so, you know, they need to burst forward. Say if it's a counter attack, they need to be able to, you know, quickly change that speed from slow jog to sprint in with the ball. Uh, also, when getting back, if the other team are on a counter attack, then they need to get back and uh, defend. So, he, you know, he, she needs to be able to quick change to uh, get back or go forward. Number six is aerobic endurance, um, especially for centre mids, because centre mids sort of, they help out in defence and they also join the attack as well. So they need to be running back and forth um, between the attack Uh Footballers actually do run quite a lot during a match. Um, they run a good couple of miles in a match, so they need that good aerobic endurance to just keep going for that 90 minutes. Uh, number seven is agility. Um, this goes back to sort of aerobic endurance and power. Uh, centre mids need good agility because uh, they're constantly changing direction um, from attack and defence. So, uh, you know, and also when they're trying to like sort of get past the opposition, yeah, they might, you know, use quick movements and 
you know, quick changes of direction to fool the other player. Uh, number eight is muscular endurance. Um, this is important because, you know, they're constantly kicking the ball, they're running, uh, they're headering the ball and stuff like that. So this is going to take, you know, a bit of a toll on the muscles. Um, so, you know, they need to have that good muscular endurance to be able to, you know, keep kicking the ball with power and strength. Um, the next one is shooting. Um, not all midfielders shoot. But it is, you know, it's still important because, you know, not always, the, the strikers aren't always going to score. So they need, you know, sometimes the attackers need to shoot as well. Um, I mean, the majority of the goals do come from strikers, but if the strikers are having an off day, then sometimes the midfielders need to step in. Uh, normally midfielders shoot from range, but they do find themselves in, like, shooting positions in the box and stuff like that. And number 10, I think, is leg strength um, because, you know, they need to be able to kick the ball hard, you know, and they need to be able to, the more leg strength a person has, the more burst of pace they can, you know, use uh, while, you know, running down the pitch. Um, but also, you know, say if they're shooting from range or if they're passing it quite, you know, from a way away, then they need to have good leg strength to... Um, to be able to pass the ball.